when it comes to experiencing the presence of God in the supernatural, we tend to have a perspective on what we think the supernatural is. Therefore, it's anything above the normal everyday life. What I would say to you is God wants us to live as the normal is what is called the supernatural, but it's not a suspension of normality but a living in the presence of God within the within the life that we live um, and that is a relationship and the relationship takes time to develop um, and you know although you say well I, I want the reality rather than just knowledge or information that's fine that's what God wants us to have but what that looks like must be how he has designed it to look like for us not like anybody else you can't look at my life and compare my life to yours because we're different i have a journey i've come from a place i've gone through processes in my life to bring me to the place where i now am and i have a purpose in god in that um, i would encourage you to develop your relationship forget about what you think supernatural is just start to develop a relationship with God, which is in the reality of your life. Now, that can start with what's inside. God is in you. Start with engaging God in you. You know, don't start with, oh, I want to go to heaven. I want to do this. I want to go to this dimension. I want to do that. Start with God every day. Jesus said that within us is a fountain of life in John 4 that we can drink from. That's a source of life of the spirit that is supernatural because it's not coming from a natural but it's coming from a heavenly spiritual dimension so looking about living a spiritual life in the natural world you can draw and drink from that source which is what you're saying is i am not going to go for any of these worldly sources for my life i am going to engage in that reality with you and don't put an agenda on it the key is not to put an agenda so that you are determining what that process will look like and what it will look like to live in the spiritual dimension within this natural world let him lead you on that journey let him dictate it but i would encourage you to spend the time developing the relationship and in the relationship allow him to lead you on the journey so spend time with him without an agenda just enjoy his presence <clears throat> ask him to reveal his presence show, ask him to show himself that you can feel his love do the meditation for rest exercise that we have available it's a very simple exercise i you know do it on the patreon sessions is close your eyes and you can do it right now you can close your eyes just come to a place of peace and rest get comfortable start to think about the presence of god the father start to think about love start to think about joy and peace and just start to focus your attention and your thinking on the presence of the Father. And you can then think about a river or a fountain within you and turn inwards with your thinking to the presence of the Father within you, within your spirit, and just choose to drink from that fountain. Picture the fountain if you can picture it, or just choose with your imagination to say, no, I'm gonna drink from the fountain. I'm gonna receive spiritual life. I'm gonna receive spiritual energy. I'm gonna receive love love is filling me love is filling me it's bubbling up it's increasing in me joy is filling me peace is filling me and as you drink deeper 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 that becomes your source and then you the, whatever the experience is whatever you're feeling about the experience just practice just train your senses through practice every day just turn inwards thank God for the presence his presence in you thank Jesus thank the Holy Spirit thank the Father for them being within you 
Thank them for placing within you a fountain of life, of energy, of spirit that you can draw from, be grateful, be thankful, and just bit by bit begin to develop. And, you know, I've done lots of stuff about hearing the voice of God and being, but generally it's because we're still, so that being still, you can know God. So be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am love. Be still and know that I am peace. Be still and know that I am joy. Sometimes we have to stop trying and just rest and be still and then begin to focus our thinking, our attention on him so that we can begin to feel and sense what it is for you to be connected to the presence of the Father within you and then let it go from there. When it comes to angels, you know, I, I only do what the Father shows me to do. You have your own angels. So again, what I would encourage you to do, rather than me trying to send my angel to you so you can have an experience, then you're reliant on me and that isn't going to teach you how to do it for yourself. So what I would do again, I would close my eyes. I would begin to think about the, the angels that are behind you. They're with you. They're your angels. They're assigned to you. Begin to think about them. Focus your thinking on them and then thank them that they're there and thank them that they've been helping you in your life and talk to them and ask them what their names are and see if there are any thoughts come into your mind. Every day, when you've, after you've engaged God, just engage those angels and just thank them that they're with you. Ask them to help you in the day. Help them to go forward if you're traveling, to do things for you. Just become conscious so that you can begin to experience that reality but don't strive and stress for it. Just gently practice it. You're going to engage your angels if you engage them. You're not likely to experience them if you don't engage them. So choose to engage them. Even if you can't see them or can't feel anything, they're there. So engage them as if they are there. Talk to them. Thank them. Communicate with them and they'll begin to communicate with you. It might be a thought, it might be an impression, it might be a word in your mind but they will begin to communicate as the Father will communicate. Just draw from the right source. Practice, practice, practice. Don't get frustrated. Don't set the agenda of what it looks like. Just choose to give yourself the time as a priority in your life to make room to be able to experience these things and things will grow and develop so you can live in a spiritual dynamic in everyday life as God intends you to do. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.